Hello, in our last video, I showed you how to create a center line and then a tangent or an arc, three point arc, make that tangent with a radius of two inches and then mirror that across our center line. So we have duplicate arcs on the left and the right of our stool legs at the bottom. From here, what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to connect these in a way that we can extrude or remove the material in this center. The tool that I'm going to use is I'm going to use a three-point arc again. This seems to be a simple tool to use when we're trying to connect three separate points. I'm going to select the upper coincident point of my left arc, the upper point of my right arc with a coincident constraint, and then I'm going to connect that to the top point of our construction line. This should and automatically becomes black because we have three points locking it in place and it is tangent with the rest of our circle that we cut out before. Next is a pretty simple task. We're going to select our line tool. Remember shortcut key is L. Okay. And I'm going to connect the bottom points of the two arcs we made in the last video. Because these are locked horizontal, this should automatically become black and it's fully because it is fully defined. Okay. From here we can hit escape. All of our content is fully defined. It's all black, nothing's blue, undefined, don't know where it's at or what it's connected to. From here, I'm gonna to come to my camera render options. And I'm gonna to switch to a trimetric view, okay? From here, I can get a, I'm gonna zoom a little bit so we can see this base piece. This is the piece that we're going to cut out. Now, I should be able to just click the green check mark or sometimes we can actually just click extrude, okay? This takes us directly into the extrude. It saves our content. I like to be a little extra safe commonly and just click that green check mark and then select what I'm sketching and what I want to use. We do not, we do not want to add material in this circumstance. Rather, we want to remove again. Okay. Again, we can select, we can leave this as blind and set a depth, or my preference is to select through all. Okay. By selecting through all, it doesn't matter if I change materials. If I decide to change a material and get a different type of plywood or use something else in place of plywood, then it doesn't really matter what this is set to. I can just change that original thickness of the material for my first extrusion, and it will always be the same. Click my green check mark, and we have the base cut out. In the next video, or this will allow us to slide another leg up through or down over as this is the base for our leg. We will be creating a duplicate of this later in a future video after we create the slot that is going to connect the two stool legs together.